Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys. Having a small, wireless, portable Bluetooth keyboard can be very handy for a few reasons. Especially these days if you find yourself working from the couch or in any other situation where having a dedicated keyboard would be beneficial. So today we're going to be taking a look at the number two bestseller for computer keyboard on Amazon and also the Amazon choice for Bluetooth keyboard. This is the Artec HB030B. So pretty much if you just search for Bluetooth keyboard on Amazon, this is going to be one of the top picks. Priced at just $21, it boasts universal connectivity, backlit keys, and extremely small, lightweight design. So let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So I started looking for a Bluetooth keyboard like this after my recent Raspberry Pi 4 build for uh, retro gaming. Having something that's small, lightweight, um, really easy to pack pretty much anywhere. It'll fit in a bag, you know, store on a shelf by my couch if I'm using it for the retro Pi. At $21, I thought I'd give this one a try. So obviously the main appeal of this keyboard is that it is incredibly small and portable. It is a bestseller for a tablet keyboard on Amazon as well. Measuring about nine and three quarter inches by six inches by one quarter inch and weighing just 7.6 ounces, it is very easy to throw in a bag, in a messenger bag, or to pack along with you anytime you think you might need a keyboard. Another feature of the Artec keyboard is its backlit keys. There are seven different colors to choose from and two levels of intensity or you can turn off the backlight completely. These are controlled by holding down the function key and pressing right alt, also signified with a light bulb to change brightness. And if you press both of those and also the up or down arrow keys, this will cycle through the available colors. So obviously that's just a cosmetic thing, uh, but if you are using the keyboard in a dim situation, uh, having the backlit keys is a really nice way to kind of get your orientation on where you are on the keyboard. Getting the keyboard connected was a very easy experience. Um, up here in the upper right, you can see there is a on off toggle. So you just switch that to on and then right next to that is the connect button. So when you're looking to connect it to a device, uh, just hit connect. The status light will start blinking blue. And then on whatever device you're connecting it to, just go into your Bluetooth preferences and you should see it pop up there in available devices. I used it on my older MacBook Pro, my iPhone 8, and the Raspberry Pi 4, and everything was very easy to connect. And when I had it connected to my phone, if I turned the keyboard off and then turned it back on, it would immediately regain connection to my phone and I'd still be able to use it. So it works really well with iOS devices. And overall, the keyboard is surprisingly easy to use. It, it doesn't have the same feedback as what a standard mechanical keyboard would, but I still found this keyboard extremely easy to type on. Uh, I didn't feel like I was getting many more errors than I would on a standard keyboard. The keys are scaled down a little bit from a standard mechanical keyboard, but it's close enough that it doesn't take too much to get used to it. It has all of the F1 through F12 keys, arrow keys, and some extra controls like page up and page down available through the use of the function key. Now, since it is built out of mainly plastic, it is very flexible. You can kind of just see right here how much give that is to it. It doesn't feel like it's going to break at all, but at the same time, if you are using it on an uneven surface where you're kind of pressing down, there will be some flex in that, which might make it a little bit harder to type on. So that's one thing to keep in mind. One other thing to note is that the back of the keyboard is just uh, solid, um, hard plastic. So if you are on a hard surface, it is going to move around a little bit, you know, depending on what kind of force you're putting on it. So that's another thing to note that it might move around a little bit. That obviously adds to its uh, thin design. You know, it's only a quarter inch tall like at its widest part. So putting any sort of, you know, rubberized feet or anything like that on the bottom would make it a little bit bigger. And here we'll do a quick sound test. You can hear what the keyboard sounds like. One of the really great features with this keyboard is the battery life. You know, despite its small size and lightweight, um, on Amazon, Arctech claims six month battery life, which is based on using it for two hours a day and with the backlight disabled. So I would think in real use, um, you might see less than that because you'll probably have the backlights on, but depending on how much you use it, I mean, this thing could last for a very long time and it doesn't take very long to recharge uh, with the included micro USB cable. So overall, I was very impressed with the battery life on this. Like we mentioned earlier, uh, one of my main reasons for picking up this keyboard was for use with my Raspberry Pi 4. And because we installed Raspbian to run RetroPie in our last video, uh, connecting this keyboard to the Raspberry Pi 4 was extremely easy. 
Once you boot up into the operating system, in the upper right of the screen, there's a Bluetooth icon. Just click on that, search for devices, and with the keyboard, use the same method of just turning it on and pushing the connect button to get that up and going. So overall, I've been extremely impressed with the performance of the Arctech keyboard for the $21 price tag. Of course, for normal use, for my daily use, I'm still using the Drop Alt or the Razer Huntsman Elite. Um, those are two keyboards that I've reviewed and really enjoyed, so you can check those reviews out as well. But for special situations and use with the Raspberry Pi, the Arctech wireless Bluetooth keyboard is a really great choice for that. So what do you think of the Arctech Bluetooth keyboard? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.